let's get into our hit list then. Let's do it. Are you going first or am I going first? I want to get, let you go first on this and cover your first point because I think this is one of the – I think it's relevant for both of us and I suspect this is something that challenges a lot of people. And if they knew this prior to getting more heavily into property or knew that it would be an ongoing thing, it might actually help them. Totally. It was actually – so this was actually one of the things which – almost led me not doing anything with property, which was actually getting the partner on board. So I could just paint this picture for you, Charlie. So here I am doing all this research, talking to all these people around property investing, like what's the best type of investing, like how do I go about it, et cetera, and reading books, listening to podcasts. And so I've built up like this war chest of knowledge, I'll call it, to the point that I'm like convinced. I'm like, this is the thing that we need to do in order to get to where we want to go. To which then in my mind, I'm like, surely my wife's read and consumed everything that I've read and consumed. And she's the second I present it and say, hey, let's start investing in property. She's going to be like, yeah, let's do this. When in actual fact, the inverse happens, which is like, well, what? Why? Wait, did you get resistance Completely. or skepticism or what did Probably. you get? It's like what, like, what do you know? Why is this? Like, why you have so much conviction that this is the thing that we need to invest in when we're not going to see the the repercussions or the benefits of it for a decade, two decades, three decades? Why is it a better use than putting it in super? Why is it a better use than putting it elsewhere? Like, what what is missing? So it's almost like I have to sell myself and then go and sell someone else <laughs> on, the, on the idea of it. And to the point where it almost got to this, this stage of just going, you know what, it's just not worth the fight. It probably is just better putting it in like a superannuation or something like that and just going, you know what, let's just, if she's happy, I'm happy, we'll continue doing the thing as opposed to me trying to get her convinced because think about the other side. What if I'm wrong? What if I'm sitting there going, hey, babe, let's go and put all of our life savings into property and then property tanks and I'm like, uh, so you know that thing that I said was a really good idea that I've done all this research? It's not. And uh, now we've got to try and repair and so having that level of confidence to the partner that I'm trying to support and trying to build everything up for, I'm super challenging in regards to not just getting started, but then flowing on to continuing. Every single property is like, is this still going to be the right one? Is this still the right thing, Charlie? It was good a couple of years ago, but is it still the right thing for now? <laughs> and I'm like, okay, cool. All right. So first off, great questions, Hazel. I encourage some skepticism <laughs> and yeah, I, I think the role of a partner or again, I got to be careful. I don't want to push my beliefs on partners with anything else uh, in this world. You know, you do you in your own relationships, but I actually appreciate pushback in my relationship. Like a, you really don't want someone that's going to agree with you all the time and just blindly follow. Although at times it would certainly make life easier. I'm <laughs> sorry. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. But like what a great check. And, I mean, you did get into property, so obviously the new story here is that it was a conversation where you did end up selling her on the idea of property. Totally. But it was. I think it's healthy within a relationship to have that type of bound. And I have the same with Bianca. Now, um, while I didn't meet as much resistance in initially getting started as you with property, um, and I think the reason for that was because we had already bought a house and had other property. and Which had we other, hadn't. Yeah, we had yeah so inherently Bianca and I had a huge amount of bias towards property already, which made that conversation easier. But I will say this, at a point in my life when I was doing share trading, massive resistance, massive skepticism. I continually doubted myself on it because of her. I'm like, well, what is Bianca on this? So the, the point I would make on this that's really fascinating to me is there's a lot of people out there that never get into property investing or any type of investing because their partner's not on board. Don't know. And it's like the thing that actually keeps them out of the game. And that, in my mind, is like actually one of the most dangerous things because if you don't invest in anything, like you only got to like not invest for five years and the positional difference you can end up with over a lifetime due to how compounding works is massive. Kid. Like, Grant, like how different would our lives be? And I like to think we, start pretty, we started pretty early, but what if we started five years earlier? Oh, <sighs> I ask myself that every day <laughs> and I'm just like, kick myself. Yeah, so what if you are the person out there right now and you're trying to have these discussions with your partner and it's like it gets hard, it gets confronting, it gets challenging and then do you know what, you wait another year. Yep. 
So that that's really interesting in my mind. But you said something interesting there because this is where I do think it's really fascinating is even once you've got your partner on board with an idea and hopefully you've set a plan and some goals with that, and I know you did, but I could see a lot of people probably didn't and this is where the next danger comes from. There's all these internal discussions about, well, when do you buy the next one? Yeah. What's an appropriate LVR? What type of thing are you going to buy next? Why are we buying another property versus doing super or shares or whatever else is? Why are we buying this quickly? Like maybe we should go slower. Why are we why are we buying here when we bought there and that went really well? Why don't we just buy there again? <laughs> like that's gonna go good as, as well. Uh this this house is fundamentally different to the previous house. Like why why are we doing that? And then it's like, and then when you get a property and you go and look at everything around it, oh, this one's gonna be better, isn't it? <laughs> and it's like and you just sit there and you're like, okay, well, this is it just every stage of everything. And to that point, like the resistance that I had at the start compared to like now, it's more of a validation check to your to what you were mentioning. It's more like, are you sure? Like it, we've done well. Are you sure on this one? Okay, cool. Here are my questions. Let's stack it. Yeah, we could be on. degenerates sitting at the poker table <laughs> yeah. trying to win, win it back. Just one more hand, baby. One more hand. Totally. It's like and the, there's a time to get up. <laughs> and the preface that I will say is like, it's not that like my wife's amazing and in in a past life charlie i have invested our cash into some businesses and stuff like that so she was right to ask a lot of probing questions like yeah the i've lost is- money on things too right I'm, my <laughs> track record with cars is not good yeah i was not playing from a zero like i'm playing from a negative on this one <laughs> so I'm like it's right like crypto so, losses <clears throat> crypto so, losses so i'm sitting there saying your wife seems <laughs> like she's very methodical very like no i've just I deserve this. <laughs> Can I um, share some things that I found really helpful in this? Go for it. All right. So one of the things I noticed early on is like even in this set uh, series of ideas, in every big decision in a relationship, ultimately one person leads. Yes. So like in your case, you're the one that's I found property and then you're selling the idea to your partner. And then, you know, in other areas of your life, Hazel probably does the same to you. It might be food, it might be uh, Health. holidays. So she wants to go to – which I think she does want to go to Japan, and then she'll spend time convincing you why Japan is a good idea. Completely. All right, so in all of it, we look at relationship dynamics, and it's very rare that two people get the same idea at the same time. Might be when they have kids. Another one that's pretty common, like one person normally goes first. I think it's really important to acknowledge that when you are going to bring that conversation up of getting someone else on board to an idea, to take it seriously, like set it up properly. Don't make it a flippant comment and like take someone on the journey you've been on. So if you've read all these things and seen all these things, having your partner on with that so that they can be as convinced or rebut what they've seen so it can be a joint move, especially when you're playing with such large volumes of money, I think is a really good thing to do. All right, fellow property investor. If you loved the value from this short video and wanted to know more about how you can win at property investing, check out the full episode by clicking the link on your screen or in the description right now. Alternatively, Click subscribe and you'll never miss another one of these videos.